This is a quick tutorial on how to install NVIDIA's free chat AI, which runs locally on your computer so you don't have to worry about any privacy stuff or even having an internet connection to use it. And it is called Chat RTX. And you'll go to this website here, which is linked in the description below. And if you scroll down, you'll find a green download now button. And you'll also see the system requirements. So you need Windows along with an NVIDIA GPU, either 30 series or 40 series. And those GPUs will have to have eight gigabyte of video RAM. That's the RAM that's on the graphics cards. And then you also need 16 gigabytes of RAM. This is what's plugged into your motherboard. And interestingly, it says that it needs Windows 11. I'm running on Windows 10 and I've had no issues. And it also specifies the minimum graphics card driver that you're going to need as well. So try and update your graphics card drivers. You're also going to need 11 gigabytes of free space to download the file as well. But also remember, you'll need 11 gigabytes to install the file too. So I'd recommend having at least 30 gigabytes free just to make sure you don't run into an issue. Now, once you've downloaded that file, you will find that it is called chat with RTX installer and then the version number after it. And it is a zip file. So you'll have to uncompress this into a normal folder, which again will be called chat with RTX installer. And then if you head into these files, you will find the setup file within them. And you just double click on this and you'll start your installation. And then you have a few things to agree to. It will show you what you're going to be installing. And then you can choose exactly where you want to install this and then simply go next and begin the installation. And this will take a considerable amount of time to install, but once it's installed, you have chat RTX. Now opening up the AI is a little bit more complicated than a normal program. So you have to go into the actual files where you've installed. You will go to the RAG folder, and then you'll go to this folder. And then in here is the app launch bat. Now there will be a shortcut installed on your desktop by default by the software. So you can just use that. But of course, if you lose that, or you're trying to figure out how to actually open this up, that's where you go to that bat file. Now, it may be that you have extensions off in your windows. I recommend switching that on if you don't, but if you don't, you want to find the file called app underscore launch, and this will then open up chat RTX, and then you can interact with it either by typing in, or you can also do voice detection as well. So you can just talk to this thing if you want to. And if you've used things like chat GPT, then this will be very familiar to you. But of course, the big difference here is this is all running locally on your machine with none of it going off to the internet at all. You've also got the option within the application to download other models that you can run again locally on your machine. So this is pretty damn cool. And you've also got the ability to add your own data in. And this is very curious because NVIDIA advertises that you can bring in your own files like text documents or photos and then the AI can then answer questions on them. So if you're looking for specific stuff in a huge amount of text, it can find it instantly. Or if you're looking for a specific photo, you can ask it to go look for it and it might well be able to find the exact photo you're looking for based on a text description. Now, the reason I've made this video today is because I simply didn't find any tutorials at all out there that showed how to do this. It is relatively simple, thankfully, but it's kind of hidden away almost. If you try to do a search for this, you'll find a lot of other stuff related to NVIDIA, but not usually this chat RTX. So hopefully you have a lot of fun with this and it is powerful, it's free and it's local. So it's pretty damn cool. And probably the way I'm going to do most of my text chat AI stuff from now on. Anyway, if you enjoyed this, like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time.